This is the Google Pixel 4, a phone so snappy, so responsive, it almost defies the very concept of obsolescence. It still holds up, still runs circles around some mid-rangers. And yet, Google cut it off. No more updates. Those seven years of major software updates Google now promises? Yeah, not for this guy. So if you're like me, someone who hates being told that their perfectly fine phone is obsolete, you start looking for ROMs. And that's why today, it's all about getting Android 15 up and running on this bad boy. Now, let's set expectations straight. Android 15 isn't some wild redesign. It's basically Android 14 with a few neat tricks. If you're not the type to tinker, you probably won't care. But if you're here, you do care. So in this video, I'm not just gonna ramble about this ROM, but I'll also show you how to install it the easiest way. So what's it like? Well, it's lineage OS, which means it's clean, smooth, and minimal. Performance, slightly better than stock. Benchmarks show a boost and real world usage, definitely snappier. Customization, eh, not a ton, no AI wallpapers, no circle to search, but you do get battery health tracking, better battery controls, app archiving, and app pairs for multitasking. The standout feature, private space. It's like having a second phone inside your phone, not just the old school multiple profiles thing, but a completely separate section for your work stuff, your uh, uh, private stuff, whatever. Yeah, Samsung's had this for years, but Android 15's version, it just feels right. And hey, make sure you subscribe if you like the video and uh, hit like or unlike. I don't know, just do something because apparently it's mandatory to annoy you about it just like every other YouTuber. You're welcome. Theft protection features, yep, they're here. Screen recording controls, more precise than ever. But, because there's always a but, some things don't work. No Soli radar, face unlock, gone. You're back to good old pins and patterns. Stock camera, glitchy. Closing and reopening helps, but honestly, just install Gcam from the Play Store. Works like a charm. And yeah, banking apps? Might be hit or miss. Alright, now for the part where people usually zone out, but stick with me. It's easy if you follow along. Before you start, make sure to update to the latest available OS version and back up everything. Seriously, don't skip this step. Charge your phone to at least 30% unless you enjoy unnecessary stress. Next, unlock developer mode. Go to about phone, then software information and tap build number seven times. Boom, you're a developer now. Go back to settings, find developer options and enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. As long as you see the OEM unlock toggle on, you're good. If you don't see it, connect to Wi-Fi, check for updates, then go back and check again. Now, you'll need a few files. Links are in the description. Download the Lineage OS ROM, Lineage OS Recovery, DTBO file, Google USB drivers, Mind the Gaps, and SDK platform tools. Did you notice? I downloaded the boot and DTBO files from the previous Android version. Why? Because the newest files didn't work for me. So if you run into any issues, do the same. On your PC, start by extracting the SDK platform tools and installing the Google USB drivers. Open Device Manager. Find your Android device in the list. Right click it, choose Update Driver, then select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the USB drivers, hit Next, and let Windows do its thing. To keep things simple, rename the ROM file to lineage.zip and mine the gaps to mg.zip. This will make things way easier later. Move everything into the platform tools folder. Now to flash the ROM, get your USB cable and a laptop. On your laptop, open the platform tools folder, right click and open a terminal. Connect your Pixel 4 to your PC and run this command adb devices. If your phone shows up, you're good to go. Next, run ADB, reboot, bootloader, and your phone will reboot into bootloader mode. Now, run fastboot flashing unlock. On your phone, use the volume keys to highlight unlock the bootloader. Then press power to confirm. To install Lineage OS recovery, run fastboot flashboot boot.img then fastboot flash dtbo dtbo.img. 
Use the volume keys to select recovery mode, then press power to confirm. Once in recovery, factory reset your device. Now select apply update, then apply from ADB on your PC, run ADB sideload lineage.zip and wait for it to finish. To install Google Apps, reboot into recovery again. Go to apply update, then apply from ADB and run ADB sideload mg.zip or whatever name you gave that package earlier. Well, when prompted, select yes, then wait for the installation to complete. Finally, reboot into the system and you're all set. Your Pixel 4 is now running Android 15 like it was meant to. See for yourself how well the Google Pixel 4 is running Android 15. But why did Google cut off updates for it? First, well, they probably know their own policies better than we do. Second, they were likely planning for that custom tensor chip. So no love for these pixels. Anyway, if you try this, drop a comment and let me know how it's working for you. Now I'll see you in the comments.